Hello everyone, we are live from the Auto Club Speedway in Fontana, California for the, pen the penultimate round of the second Blue Moa Fine Stock Cup Series season. It is the Blizzard Entertainment 50. So only three drivers still have a shot to break up this top 16 we currently have in points, those being Jackson Kelsey, uh, Ryan Llewellyn, and Blake Naki. All of three of them are going to need very good runs and need for the guys inside the top 16 to have less so great runs. So now let's take a look through the starting lineup. On pole is the number 16 Xbox Dodge Hellcat of Wyatt Qualley, his third career pole and first of the season. And to his outside is the number 13 Jack Daniels Mercedes AMG. That's Felix Jansen. Row 2 sees Patrick Starr and Holly Oko. Row 3 is the 25 of Riley Wilkin and the 99 of Tim Pitch. Row 4 sees Bailey Pendergast and Noah Clifton, who won this race um, when we came here earlier in the season. And rounding out the top 10 is the 20 of Chrissy Splitzer and the 07 of Derek Hamill. Row 6 sees a pair of Toyotas in Theo Spitzer and Ryan Keith. Row 7 is another pair of Toyotas in the 45 of Ryan Llewellyn and the 15 of Nelson Reeves. Then in row 8, it's a yet another pair of Toyotas in Anderson Reed and Zachary DeLello. Row 9 is the 86 of Nonagan Scott and the 97 of Blaze Aitken. And rounding out the top 20 is Vincent David with Rafiq Rosanna. Row 11 sees Leland Hill in the 35 and Seishin Tomioka in the 50. Row 12 is BOSC debutante Roberto Crown Jr. next to Richard Herman. Row 13 sees the 6 of Jack Ga Jake Galloway and the 37 of Azul Cielo. And row 14 is Adrian Rojas and Kevin Hulkenberg, but the 70 car is going to the rear. Rounding out the top 15, we see the 38 of Arthur Xavier and the 28 of Evan Hunter. Row 16 is Nichi Kazami and Renan Smith. Oh, sorry, Renan Isip. Uh, row 17 sees the 27 of Nathan Smith and the 80 of Adam Mitchell. Uh, then it's Blake Inaki and John Davis. Row 19 sees the 17 of uh, Josh King and the 89 of John McFadden, but McFadden will have to go to the rear. And rounding out the top uh, 40 is Neo Stark and Tommy Rollo. And the last two qualifiers, but now making up the second to last row of the grid, will be a pair of Mercs in the 19 of Jackson Kelsey and the 60 of Able to Groat. Kelsey, one of the drivers who needs a good run, and certainly not a good qualifying run for that 19 team. So it's going to be 25 laps, just like last time. We had a great finish in the first Auto Club race. Noah Clifton took the victory. So far, all Auto Club races have produced great finishes as Season 1 came down to the line between Cody Goforth and Nixon DeMille, with DeMille pipping Goforth. And now we're set for our third trip here out to Fontana, California. Who's going to come, on top, come out on top today? It's going to be Quali, Jansen, Star, Oko, and Wilkin leading them to green. Pace car is off. Now we just take the run down to the start-finish line. And the green flag is out here from Auto Club. And it's Quali who's going to get the jump. Patrick Star looks like that. He's going to slot into second off the green flag is already. We have five, four wide here for position as it, oh my god. Yeah, so it's clearly taking no time at all for these guys to really get aggressive and get the elbows out a bit, as you see a bit of beating and banging. Definitely don't want to do too much of that this early in the race, as the outside li line starters are getting absolutely s eaten alive. That's Felix Jansen who started on outside pole. Three wide for the back between Ryan Llewellyn and uh, Derek Hamill, then more three wide, not against Scott, than the two Wumi speed cars of uh, Theo Spletzer and Noah Clifton. Up front, Wyatt Qualley now being challenged for the lead by Bailey Pendergast. Pendergast uh, narrowly lost out on a win at Atlanta to Derek Hamill. Now the 58 goes to the race lead, but how long will that last as Wilkin and Patrick Starr nearly make a bit of contact? Here comes a Toyota pair. It's Chrissy Spletzer and Holyoko. Spletzer won at Iowa earlier this season. Holyoko is still searching for her first career victory. And here comes Oko, down the inside with help from Nonagan Scott. As now Splitzer put three wide with Scott and Quali. Holly Oko, she's trying to go for the race lead, and she'll get it. Holly Oko into the race lead. The last time she led laps was at Riki, where her teammate Rose Neal did not qualify. Now Neil DNQ'd again here as Quali and Pendergast nearly come together. And Oko once again leading, but 
here comes the points leader, Nonigan Scott. Going to easily get by the 83. And caution flag is out. We're going to race it back to the line. It looks like that Scott's going to have this one in the bag. And coming off of turn four, it is going to be Nonigan Scott leading them back to the line. Then Holyoko, Theo Spletzer, Wyatt Qualley, and... Bailey Pendergast round out the top five as Pendergast barely edged Chrissy Spletzer and that's Derek Hamill on pit road. He has damaged Tim Pitch, Felix Jansen. These are all front running guys, but that is going to be extremely detrimental to Hamill's chances. He wanted um, to win the regular season championship and let's see what happened here. So Leland Hill tried to force five wide and that's just not going to work here at Auto Club. Oh, hard hit for Hamill. And uh, that was Jansen and Pitch. So it looked like that Hill, yeah, Leland Hill in the 35, uh, was trying to get it, get five wide, but so he forces Reeves up into the pair of Hamill and Pitch. Then Pitch just hooks um, Hamill, and then Jansen just gets collected as well. That is heavy hit for those three. Hopefully they're all right. I know it's going to be Nonigan Scott who leads after four laps. And we'll bring you back to the action here from Auto Club. So we are back here. Lap number six is one we're going to be going. So we're going back green lap number seven. Nonigan Scott, Holyoko, Theo Spitzer, Wyatt Qualley, Bailey Pendergast, Chrissy Spitzer, Vincent David, Zachary Delello, Riley Wilkin, and Ryan Llewellyn are the top ten out of the race are Derek Hamill, Tim Pitch, and Felix Jansen. So, it looks like that Derek Hamill has really just struggled over the past few races. Uh, he was looking to maybe make a shot at the um, regular season championship, but it looks like that it was just not to be for him. As we'll actually be going green lap 8. So we're taking one more pace lap around here at Auto Club. Pace car has now dived in. And we're ready to go back green flag racing here. Green flag is out and Oko looks like that she definitely bogged down a bit at the restart. Nonigan Scott leads them to green. Scott currently has one career win that came at Myrtle Beach earlier this season. He's looking for number two today. And what will definitely extend his regular season championship lead heading into the final race of the season. Remember though, at the start of the chase, there is a points reset. So even if you win the regular season championship, that's not gonna give you anything heading into um, the chase as Bailey Pendergast gonna go for second on Holyoko. Theo Spletzer, White, Quali, Zachary Delolo, a bunch of Toyotas back here. Spletzer nearly gets into the quarter panel of Quali. As Pendergast still looking for that second position off of Holyoko as oh I think Splitzer and Quali may have had a bit more contact as now Pendergast has gotten by Oko and now is going for the lead maybe and the 58 has had a great season so far but just has not been able to convert it into a race win can that finally change here today look who else is up here Zachary Delello nearly won at Richmond but couldn't quite fend off Riley Wilkin He'll be looking for a possible first career win here as well. So will Rafik Razana, who's also up here. As Pendergast led the lap, and he now is into the lead, but Delello is right up on the back of that 58. Oh, Razana running wide nearly into Holyoko there. As Delello now chasing after this 58 of Bailey Pendergast. Wyatt Quali, the pulse hitter back up here. Pendergast tried to throw a block, but was too late. Here comes Delello down the inside. Zachary Delello into the race lead. As now Delello, your leader. Wyatt Quali and Holyoko sitting there on that inside line. Chrissy Sweatser as well. Those are the guys to be watching out for to make moves. As can Delello hold this lead for longer than a lap? Heading through three and four, is Quali going to make a, sorry, heading onto the back straight. Is Quali going to make a look? He is. White Quali to the inside. He's going to have help from the Toyotas of Oko and Spletzer. Remember, those were the two that challenged Quali originally 
as Wyatt Qualley goes back into the race lead. He is also searching for his first career victory in the BOSC. As they head to take lap number 12, Wyatt Qualley back into the race lead. Holly Yoko, she is trying to catch this 16 car. That would be amazing if that 83 could win. It's been, uh, Oka's been shown to be very quick so far on pretty much all track types. It looks like that it would just be a matter of time before Oka would get her first victory, but it looks like that Chrissy's going to try to go for uh, their own glory, m forcing three wide Oka pinballing between Quali and Spletzer. But it looks like that Oko's going to get the lap led. No, Chrissy Spletzer leads the lap. And now Chrissy Spletzer trying to take their second victory in the BOSC. They set 14th in points right now, so they are very much on that bubble. They are potentially at risk. So Chrissy Spletzer is into the lead, but not against Scott. All over the 20s tail as Holly Oko trying to hang on to third. Here comes Zachary DeLello. Look who else is up here, Noah Clifton, the previous winner here at Auto Club. He could be looking to go back-to-back -back this season. As Spletzer leads the lap, how much longer will, he be, will they be able to hold on? As now Zachary DeLello is going to go for second, try to make this a Toyota 1-2 here. DeLello's got the move done. Zachary DeLello now going to be chasing after Chrissy Spletzer, trying to put his name onto the BOC record book as a race winner. Bailey Pendergast, Theo Spletzer also looking for their first career victories. As here comes Spletzer on Pendergast for third. Looks like that no one really dropped down to the inside line as Pendergast is trying to suss out a way to get by that 55 of DeLello for second. Meanwhile, Chrissy Spletzer just trying to hang on to this race lead. Uh, they'll probably be enjoying the fact that everyone's battling so then they won't be able to focus on Catching him as his team boss Theo Spletzer moves into third. It's now a Toyota 1-2-3 And now Spletzer is gonna go on uh, DeLello and C Theo Spletzer is up into second Chrissy Spletzer the leader, but now here comes Theo on Chrissy Can Theo Spletzer take the race lead away? From his teammate, he will with help from Wyatt Quali. And for the first time in his BOSC career, Theo Spletzer is into the race lead. So now it's Quali in second, gonna be challenging him very quickly. Uh, Wyatt Quali wants his first career win as DeLello and Oko lined up on the inside. As, oh, Quali threw a block there, pretty late block on DeLello and nearly Saw the 55 get into his quarter panel as coming off of turn 4, DeLello's now going to have a look to the inside. He's going to have help from Holyoko, and it looks like that Spletzer's time in the uh, lead is going to come to an end, at least for now. Zachary DeLello back into the race lead. Oko gets back up into second for that 83 Rose Motorsports team. It would certainly be a storyline if she managed to win. The entry was started at Daytona. Uh, the second Daytona race earlier this season, so she barely has run over half the races. As Oko running wide, that's going to open the door for Wyatt Quali. Here comes Patrick Starr. Where did he come from? The three car up here now. As DeLello leads, Quali going to look to maybe make a move into second and possibly go for the lead. Within 10 laps to go here from Auto Club, Zachary DeLello, your leader, but here comes Wyatt Quali. Quali now going to make a move to the inside of DeLello. The pole sitter, Wyatt Quali, goes back into the race lead. He's going to have Patrick Starr, Bailey Pendergast, Chrissy Spletzer all behind him. As Pendergast going to step out, uh, Spletzer is going to go with him. Patrick Starr stays up in the middle, so does Quali. And Starr has no drafting help. He's going to start dropping back and... Oh, they're going to go three wide through turns one and two. A bit of contact there between Star and Oko. They keep it all clean as Pendergast got a great run off of turn two. He's going to go for the lead here on uh, Wyatt Quali, and he's going to get it. 
more contact there between Chrissy Sweater and Patrick Starr. They have been not afraid to get their elbows out so far this race, and it has led to some neat, quite near misses as we are coming towards five laps to go next time by for Bailey Pendergast. Pendergast has never won in the BOSC. He started on pole at Daytona Beach, but that win went to Najika Gazami. He had the car to beat at Atlanta, but Derek Hamill edged him out at the line. He now leads here, but for how much longer as here comes Chrissy Spletzer back to the inside of the 58 and once again give the lead back to the Canadian Chrissy Spletzer. As Patrick Starr looks like that, he's going to move up into second. Holyoko possibly go for third as Pendergast isn't going to have the drafting help. Five laps to go. Will Chrissy Spletzer be the one to be able to hang on? Star does move into second and got quite a run on the number 20 car. Is Star going to make his move heading into turn two? Heading out of turn two. Star looks like that he's going to be able to pull alongside the number 20. And down the inside, he's going to go into three and four. This has been the preferred place to make a move. So they're going to go side by side. Oko once again running wide. As Spletzer is going to be able to hang on. Uh, through down, on the front straight as they're side by side as they cross the line four laps to go and Patrick Starr finally does get up into the race lead so Patrick Starr now leads looking for his third career BOSC victory he won at North Wilkesboro last season then won at Steel back earlier this season but here comes Oko Oko's gonna send it into three and four the move hasn't quite worked out yet, but if she could get drafting help, I think Holyoko could go for this race win here. Three laps to go for the three car. Patrick Starr. Can he hang on? Is Oko going to send it again? She's going to have help from Nonagan Scott as here comes the Sinclair 86 back into the picture. Theo Splitzer are hanging in there as well. Oko going to get a push from Scott. Big run down the back street. Star, can he block? Into three and four. Oko gonna get to the inside. Has Oko made her move too early though? Is Nonigan Scott now all over the back of her? Onto the front straight. Coming. Two laps to go. And it is Holly Oko into the race lead. Kenji score her first career BOSC win. She needs to hang on from Nonigan Scott for two more laps. Will she manage? As heading onto the back straight. Nonagan Scott biding his time. Into three and four. Scott looks like he's gonna make a move. Is it is it over for Holyoko? As they head onto the front stretch. White flag in the air, and it's gonna be for Nonagan Scott. Can anyone catch this 86? Can Oko tuck back into line? That's a no. It's going to be up to Chrissy Splutzer to try to spoil this win for Scott. Splutzer going to step out of line as they head onto the back straight for the final time. Is it going to be enough? Splutzer going to send it into 3 and 4, nearly into Nonagan Scott. But Splutzer has the inside line. Does the 20 have enough time onto the front stretch? Oko goes down to push the 20. Coming to the line, Oka going to make it three wide, but it's not enough. Chrissy Splitzer wins at Auto Club. Only five hundredths separate the three, the top three, and it's going to be Chrissy Splitzer, career win number two here at Auto Club. Holly Oko finishes third, Nonagan Scott second. And it's going to be another Wumi Speed Racing Car in victory lane here at Auto Club. But this time, it's Chrissy Spletzer winning by uh, 21 thousandths of a second over Nonagan Scott. Then Holyoko in third, followed by Theo Spletzer, Patrick Starr, Bailey Pendergast, Ryan Keith, who we didn't really talk about, Noah Clifton, Wyatt Qualley, and Nelson Reeves, the top 10, then Zachary DeLello. Vincent David, Rafiq Razana, Riley Wilkin, Ryan Llewellyn, 
Richard Herman, Blaze Aitken, Evan Hunter, Anderson Reed, Station Tomioka, and Leland Hill round out the top half of the field. Then Cielo, Isip, Rojas, McFadden, who came back from uh, starting on the last row of the grid. Kelsey, Hulkenberg, Davis, Galloway, Smith, Ganaki, King, Mitchell, Crown in his BOSC debut finishes 34th. Xavier, Rolo, Stark, uh, DeGroat, and Kazami round out the finishers. And of course, Hamill, Pitch, and Jansen uh, all were knocked out from that early crash. That has been all from an exciting race of Mono Club. We'll see you in uh, next time for Darlington, the regular season finale, who will lock up their final chase spots. Until then, this has been Ash Jacobson, and we'll see you at the Lady in Black.